Welcome. I hope the end of your year has been going well. Today, we're doing the January setup in my reading journal. For January, I decided on an umbrella theme since the winter is the rainy season where I live. I'm just going to be using a couple of colors, yellow, black, silver, and brown. The first thing I'm doing here is just drawing out the title, January 2024, and coloring it in. The font I decided to use is called Rotran, R-O-T-T-R-A-N. It's a nice rounded serif font. I thought it would look nice for January. I just did the outline with a ballpoint pen and then I'm using a black paint pen to fill in the letters. Next, I'm working on making the clouds and the rain droplets. I'm using a silver paint pen for this, and I'm using kind of a hashed line so that it's not completely solid. I wanted it to be sort of like slightly misty or not quite solid since they're clouds and rain give that kind of atmosphere. I'm filling in the clouds with a couple of little dots here just to give a little bit of dimension. Of course, this is more stylized, so it's not realistic. I wanted to make the umbrellas next before I made the rain falling down so that I could have some of the raindrops bouncing off the umbrellas. I used some yellow label paper, like the kind of labels that you might use for name tags or at a yard sale or something. I bought a rainbow color pack. Then I used some brown craft sticker paper to make the handle of the umbrella and also to make some boxes here that I'll use for my January statistics. Now, this is my favorite tool to use. This is my corner cutter. I just bought it off of Amazon. There's a million of them. They're all pretty much the same, but it's so satisfying clipping off the edges. So pretty much everything in my journal has rounded edges now. And I use it upside down like that, like you just saw, because I can actually see that I have the corner of the paper in the correct place to cut it. Otherwise, sometimes it comes out a little wonky. Here I'm writing out the word stats in the same font that I did the title with. What you don't see here is how many times I had to rewrite it and erase it in order to get it centered here. So I cut that part out. And now I'm using a brown paint marker just to do some outlining and a little bit of shading on the umbrellas. Then I switch to a white paint pen here to do a little bit of highlighting on the top of the umbrellas, just to give it a little bit more shape and make it look a little bit more like an umbrella. And here I'm just adding a simple line border to the boxes with a brown paint pen. I find that sometimes when you just add a very simple border around something, it gives it a nice finished look. When in doubt, add a border to it. And then I just used some brown craft paper to add that little nubbin on the top of the umbrella. I don't know what that's called, but I thought it would look cute this way. And now it's time to add the raindrops. I'm just using that same silver paint pen. And before I started, I just used a ruler and a pencil to make a bunch of diagonal parallel lines here as a guide for myself. And then I just made like a hashed line for the rain. 
dotted line in some places. And then you can see on the top of the umbrellas and on top of some of the letters here, I wanted to make it look like they were splashing off the top of them in a couple different places. And then here I'm just adding a couple more little splash marks on the top of some of the numbers just for good measure. Now I'm adding another simple line border around the edge of this entire spread using a black paint pen. I just wanted to make it look a little more finished and also to bring a little bit more of the black into it since I used black for the titles. Here's an example of how I made the tabs throughout this entire journal. I've got beige washi tape and I'm just sticking it onto the tabs that I've cut out on the sides of the page. And then I'll cut off the excess and round the sides of the tab. And I'll use a permanent marker to write January on the tab so that it doesn't smear. Now I'm moving on to the next spread. This is where I'm going to have cutouts of all the book covers for every book I read in January, and they'll be pasted into this spread. I'm doing a very similar design on this spread as I did on the cover spread, so here I'm adding more clouds with the silver paint pen, and I'll also be adding ring drops later. Now, here's where I made a mistake. I wanted to have an umbrella from a different angle on this spread, so I wanted this to look like you were looking at the top of the umbrella as it was lying on the ground. So I started out kind of with the similar materials. I was trying to make this look like the top of the umbrella, and it just was not working out for me. I didn't think this looked recognizable as an umbrella, so I thought maybe if I put the handle sticking out behind it, that would help, but the angle was just off and that looked strange. Then I tried to fix things with some outlining and some shading with my brown paint pen. And then I decided, well, maybe it'll look better if I try to make this look like the inside of the umbrella instead of the outside of it. So I tried to make it look like that, and I probably could have just left it as it was at this point, but I was kind of fed up with it, so I moved on to something else. Here I'm just doing the title that says books for this page with the same font that I did before and the same black pen and marker. Finally, I decided to just abandon the idea of having an umbrella on this spread and I decided I would cover it up. These are just craft paper rectangles that I use to cover a large section of both sides of this spread. And here's just a little piece of dot grid paper that I cut out of the back of my previous journal that matches this journal. And I'm just covering up the very bottom of the umbrella with that. I wanted to leave this part in so that you can all see that we all make mistakes. It's not a big deal and you can always change it if you want to. Here I'm just outlining where the rectangles will go so that I can do the raindrops around it and not waste pen by drawing it where I don't need to draw it. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just finishing up this spread and you'll see in a second that I bring in some yellow paper to put underneath these brown sections. And that was just so that I had a little pop of yellow on this page as well so that it matched better with the first spread. Now this is the last spread that you'll see me making in this video, but after I filmed this I actually made a couple more pages. I'm going to do little book reviews for all the books that I read throughout the month of January as well. I'll film a wrap up at the end of January so that you can see those additional pages that I made and you can see all the stats and all the book covers and everything entered into this January section. Here I'm doing the same borders that I did on the first spread, so I'm just doing a simple brown line on these brown boxes, and then I'll do the black line around the outside of the entire spread. Here I'm erasing my pencil marks and then I'll just be finishing up the edges of the pages by snipping off the excess and then using my corner cutter to round things off. And that's the end of my January spread. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you'd like to see what this looks like at the end of January, when it's all filled out, I'll be releasing that in the beginning of February. Wishing you a happy new year. Bye.